Hi everybody, this is Caitlin Springer with the Florida Orchestra. Today we are going to go through our two octave C major scale. So this one is pretty straightforward, so I want to tune it up, warm up with it a bit, and then I want to revisit our walking pulse that we did before. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tune my viola, make sure it's really well in tune. C major, so I'm going to set my drone onto the C. Alright, I'm going to do slow quarter notes. One, two, ready, go. two octave scale. Now once you get into the second octave of chords, you have to do those low twos. So if you need to go back to the one octave and just go through that to make sure that those low twos are really well in tune, or you could just do the work on your own now, but just always check in. That's going to be a low two. That's going to be your target note for this one. Now I want to do that one more time. Um, these are quarter notes, so I'm going to use a fair bit of bow, but I'm not going to use too much. I'm going to try to see how smooth I can make it, how continuous the sound can be. All right, I'm going to do that one more time to see how smooth I can play it. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> really really well in tune if they were that's great you could always repeat this or slow it down as much as you need to but for now I want to go and revisit our walking pulse so I want to use a little bit of rhythm practice with this one now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my metronome and I'm gonna set it kind of slow I'm gonna do maybe three different tempos so the first tempo is gonna be quarter note equals 60 um, bum, bum, bum. Now remember, the walking pulse is kind of a rocking between your feet. So you're rocking like on the heels of your feet. Yum, bum, bum, bum. You're swaying left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Just like that. And I'm not lifting off the ground. I'm just keeping my heels on the ground, but they're kind of springy. I'm springing on the heels of my feet and I'm swaying just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep my walking pulse for this entire scale. So good luck to you guys. It's a little tricky if you're doing it for the first time, but I urge you to keep trying because it's really helpful. All right, let's get our walking pulse. Left, right, left, right. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
the walking pulse going as much as you can. Now, you could repeat that if you need to. It's kind of awkward to get the coordination the first couple times you try it. But for those of you that are ready or well practiced, we are going to bring our tempo up to 80 now. So we'll go like this. Left, right, left, right. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> down to 60 and I just want to play with the rhythm a little bit so now I want to take this exercise and I want to do our eighth notes and see if we could get the eighth notes going with our walking pulse left right left right one two eighth notes go <laughs> as much as you need to. When I don't do the walking pulse, I feel like it's really easy to rush through some of those things, especially when I'm doing eighth notes in a slow tempo. It'll be really easy to rush. So doing the walking pulse really keeps you steady and grounded in the tempo. And you can always add the metronome to it. I encourage you to add the metronome to it just to make it even more solid. All right, so now I want to mess with the slur a little bit. I still want to do eighth notes. Let's do eighth notes again, but now I want to do... Um, let's do two to a bow, two to a bow, so it'll be like this. Um, like that, so two to a bow. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and so on. All right, good luck. Left, right, left, right, one, Two, two slur, go. <laughs> times. Um, I feel like it's a little bit harder to play smoothly, so keeping the bow continuous so there's no space in between the notes and kind of keeping it in the string. So um, see if we can keep the sound really smooth, really beautiful, and luscious. One, or let's do left, right, left, right, one, two, ready, go. Do it as many times as you need. We're going to do it one more time like this. Left, right, left, right. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> introduction into the walking pulse. 
Um, I actually use it in orchestra a lot. Some people have even noticed, so like, Caitlin, why do, you, why do you go from your left to your right when you're pulsing with your feet? And that's the walking pulse. I use it all the time. So the more you get used to it, the more you auto automatically do it. And it really just helps you keep steady in moments where anything can happen. So that's the walking pulse. Uh, try it out. And if you didn't like it today because it's kind of hard to coordinate, that's okay. Try it again tomorrow. Thank you guys for playing the C major scale with me. Have a great day.